What is going on guys? It's me, I'm back. As you can see, I have some new shelving. And what this is allowing me to do, essentially, is store all of my 3D printed stuff here in one nice unit. Plus, I can display some stuff as well. So it also looks a little bit neater, a little bit nicer. So I've got my P1S here. My A1 is in the corner over this side. Um, I might see if I can get my A1 over here as well, but eh, I'm not too I'm not too bothered about that at the minute. But as you can see up here, we have a really nice box. It says AMS 2 Pro. Now what this is, this is the multi all materials, see? <laughs> Actually, I don't know what it stands for. What does AMS stand for again? Hang on. What? does the Pope actually do? What No, what this actually means is it means automatic material system and this is their second version and it's pro apparently. I don't know. Um, and they were kind enough to send me this one. Thanks guys, much appreciate that. I'm gonna unbox it with you guys today and I'm gonna pop it on my 3D printer. And what this is gonna allow me to do is it's gonna, essentially I'm gonna be able to store filament in there um, and I'm also, Gonna be able to print multi-colored prints like I have been doing on my A1 on my P1S. So that's amazing. By now you should have seen my A1 unboxing and review. Now, full disclaimer, I filmed that video almost a year ago and it's taken me a long time to upload it. But yeah, so I'm gonna be able to print multi-colors, multi-materials. I can also dry filament with this one as well. I do need a, a separate adapter which I don't have yet, but I'm not really too fussed about the drying yet. But with different materials, you do need different things. So we'll see how long that lasts. But anyway, without enough of me rambling on, let's unbox this and see what we've got. Oh, also actually, sorry, before we unbox this, I just wanted to bring you over here because um, I got a new desktop and I got a new desk chair and I'm actually, I'm, I'm just really happy with how this is looking at the minute. And I just wanted to show you. So, yeah, this is where we're going to be, be unboxing that. Crikey! Look at this beauty! Now you've got to be very careful with things like this. I don't know why I've gone into like a Robert or Steve Irwin Australian animal findings, but I also didn't cut down the box. <laughs> That's embarrassing. Stop being silly, Matthew. Come along now. Right, let's get this out. So it comes packaged really nicely. Use my foot. There we go. I think this is gonna be the perfect size for this. I left I left enough room in the shelf now I've never used one of these before other than sorry I've never used one of these with um, with the p1 printers so this is going to be completely new to me good job we've got instructions AMS 2 pro unboxing guide so let's let's see what let's see what we've got here so let's take all of the plastics off Oh, that was, that was sexy. Side point, we bought a new fridge recently and there was so much of this like peely plastics. It just, it's such a nice feeling. I can't, I can't not. It's just, oh, lovely. Love, it's lovely, it's lovely. See what I mean? Right, and then I believe, oh, that's nice. That's, that feels real, real nice, actually. Um, now I believe we don't need this in here. I think this is all the all of the bits we need in there. Remove tape and the outer packaging. Uh, okay, so this is what keeps it dry. I don't actually know how to say say that. What's it called? Desiccant. Oh, this is usually the stuff that has "do not eat" on it. Got you. This looks really interesting. It's got some got some rollers on the inside here. Um, 
I'm assuming that that's where, let's test that out a second, that's where the filament's gonna sit on there. It's gonna roll real nicely. Beautiful. Does it work with, um, does it work with cardboard spools? Ooh. Yeah, it does. Sweet. Okay. Let's get this thing. Oh, so we can, put... oh. it does feel quite nice. Right, let's, um, let me just read through the instructions and we'll get it set up. So a couple days later and a few items later, um, I figured out that you needed some more stuff in order to fully get the experience of the AMS2 with your Bamboo Lab P1S. Now in that time, I've printed a couple more things, which I'm gonna show you as well. Um, as you can see, it looks quite nice down on top of my printer. Obviously I haven't got to use it yet because I've needed all of this stuff to, to use it properly. So let me just take this here off a second. So if you have a P1S or an X1, series printer you're going to need to buy the uh, upgrade kit with it um it, especially if you're considering um multiple of the ams machines i'm only ever going to use one until i get a bigger place yeah i bought the 50 pound kit which meant that i got the filament buffer the what was this called ptse tube connector a couple more cables and the uh, DC connector with it and what this does is it allows us to do the charging with the printer um, and I'm going to go ahead and connect up all the cables and get it all set up now so this nicely provided screws as well so this is the filament buffer this here goes on the back of the printer so let's turn the printer around <laughs> Okay, so this goes on to there like that. Yeah, and what this is, is this here is the, the filament essentially goes into here and then goes into the printer. Screws. Just like that lovely job um and then i'm going to actually refer back to <clears throat> well i would refer back to the instructions but i don't know where i put them so i'm going to i'm going to google it so the first step actually is to get this back on top of the printer um, and we're going to attach the tube directly into the buffer just like that uh, shit how do i undo this actually i'm gonna leave it like that instead of spiraling i, I don't want to mess it up and then the ams actually came with this six pin cable which is going to go directly into the back of your P1S and into your cable buffer. Now this one, I mean filament buffer, this one I am actually going to, because I don't, I don't want a bunch of cables sticking out, so I'm going to do that. Do, do, do. All right, so then that can go onto there. Okay, that just keeps it a little bit neater than just having a bunch of cables flying around. Um, and then you have to get a four pin connector as well, which actually goes into your printer and also into the filament connector here. So actually, what's the best way of doing this? Cause I don't really wanna, oh, it says this end connects to the 3D printer. So I suppose, woo, we'll do it the way Bamboo Lab wants us to do it. Ah, there's a little clip there. There's a little clip there on the uh on the thing that's wonderful and then we're nearly there so now what we actually need is 
There's, I've got some more tubing. I think the the actual AMS came with tubes as well. Again, they're probably with the instructions somewhere. But I'm, gonna, I'm just going to use one of these, probably the shorter one, and the filament. What is this again? The PTFE tube connector. Let me in. Ah! I got two. I got three. Whoa! Nice, I only need the one. So that can go there on the end of the tube that goes into your 3D printer. And then this cable, this tube, goes into the end of that and then into your filament buffer. Just like that. I don't like how that just is there i don't like that but not really a lot i can do about it and that that's done now i'm going to turn it around plug it in and we're gonna we're gonna fill it up with filament and print something and i almost forgot you're probably screaming matt what's what's this for what's the why do you need this this plugs into the back of your ams system and what this does is is essentially just gives it power to uh, have the drying on there because this will dry your filament when you're not um, when you're not using it and you can set the different things up you can set the different temperatures to uh, whatever filament you put in there okay so what I'm doing is I'm actually gonna I'm gonna print my uh, fantastic four logo bro chill okay geez um yeah i'm gonna print my fantastic four logo but i'm actually gonna do it in a couple of different colors oh my god in different um i'm gonna load up a cardboard tube because i want to see if it works and if it doesn't work then i just know to use these with my a1 because I can, I can put these cardboard tubes straight onto the AMS system for that. I see no reason why this shouldn't work, but we'll try it out just in case. Close that up. Lock in. Lock that in. On either set. So we're just going to print the four from the Fantastic Four logo that I've made. Um, if you want to download these files, by the way, they are on uh, Maker World and they're also on Cults. Links will be in the description, don't worry. Um, either way, it helps me out if you use them and download them. So yeah, go and check those out. 43 minutes that's going to take. Print. So what you do when you print is you literally just select the colors you want. So I've got an A1, which is the white, and then A2, which is, it doesn't know what it is, but it's it knows that there's filament in there. So I've just chosen those two. We're just gonna hit send. Please check the following. Yep, that's fine. And then that is sent into the printer. There we go. That there is a multicolored print. The first multicolored print I've done on on this hair printer, which is awesome because I've had the printer for a while now and not had the ability to do multicolored prints on here, but now I do. Um, <clears throat> only that's actually not the primary reason I'm going to be using 
the AMS for this printer. I'm mainly gonna be using it to do different materials. Now, so for PLA printing, you can actually use uh, PVA supports or PETG supports as well, because the um, PLA doesn't actually stick to the PETG. Uh, so they will just fall away really nicely. Um, the other reason I've got this is so I can dry out TPU a little bit better and use some more complicated filaments, you know, ones that will require drying or yeah i'm actually just really excited to be able to use a bunch more stuff be able to do multicolor printing because come christmas time i'm hoping to do some christmas markets and print out some little kids toys and stuff like that that i'm i'm, I'm wanting to design so it's going to be an interesting time if you enjoyed this video go and check out my a1 video where i printed this lovely piece of work a link to the file for this will be in the description uh, and obviously this is a lot more complicated than what i showed you today but that was just a test piece i might do another one of these anyway maybe i'll do a symbiote version but that shows off what the ams can do a little bit nicer a little bit better a little bit more detail whereas this was just kind of an unboxing and setting up video so yeah thanks so much for watching hope to see you in the next one where we will be doing something cool no doubt i i've got no idea what i'm gonna be doing i'm just saying hopefully i'll see you in the next one anyway peace